Hi, it's Nick Jervis from the More Clients Academy. And in this video, I want to show you how to ensure that Google is indexing all of your pages. Um, if you think or hope that uh, just by putting a blog post live, uh, you're going to be all over Google, then there's another step you need to check to make sure it's happening and Google's picking up your blog. Um, so first thing to do, search Google Search Console, make sure you're signed in with your normal Google account. Then you'll come into your search console. I've selected my nickjervis.com website to have a look at this. When you land in your search console, you'll come on the overview page and you can see where I'm going to send you here. Um, what Google tells you immediately on the overview page is some of your pages have not been indexed. Now, there might be good reason for that, um, but let's go to the full report, which you can also get to on the left hand side of pages. I'm not worried about the ones already indexed, um, but I do want to look at the ones that aren't. So I'll deselect that and then I want to come down here, discovered currently not indexed. So these are ones that Google's no exists, but uh, haven't really given much thought to or concern to. So they're not available to be found by anybody. Um, so some of the pages here, there's, there's two parts to this. Sometimes you want to actually say, I don't want pages to be found. Um, so there's some there. If I go to my Easy Life Client Attraction Quiz, I'll click on that. We'll open the next page. Um, and if I don't really want this to be a landing page when it comes up, um, then I'm better off saying to Google, don't bother with this one. Um, let's go to Yoast and let's t tell Google we don't want to index this because it's not really, it's not something I'm looking for people to come in cold to. Um, as you see, I haven't put any SEO work into this, no title tags, etc. Come down to advanced and I've selected already. No, I don't want search engines to um, come to this page. So in time, because I did that very recently, Google will take that one out of here. So I'm going to go to a page further down that isn't one of the categories. You'll, you'll get things like categories in here, ignore those. But what you're looking for is real pages um, that you want indexed, which are not. So let's say we want to do this one. What I do is take a copy of that, open up um, Search Console in another tab by holding down Control and pressing Pages. Coming over here and you'll see at the top it says inspect any URL. So if I inspect that one I've just copied. And then we get to the important part, which is says, no, it's not on Google. Do you want it to be on Google? Yes, please. Um, so you request indexing. Now this might not work for me because you're only allowed to request 10 a day. And I've been doing this pretty consistently. So I've already got my numbers down, uh, but it tests it, takes a bit of time. Uh, as I say, you can only do 10 a day, but it's time well spent if you've got good pages. Uh, as I say, some of the pages I don't want to be indexed. So I'll go on and say, no thanks, Google, don't index these. The ones that I do that have good content on that I'd like to be found on Google, then we put, yes, please request indexing. Um, and Google will hopefully come back through and find our URLs in time. Um, from what I've discovered, leave it a week or so before your number starts to change. Um, so just make a note when you're doing your 10 a day, you can see it's quite a slow process. This is definitely something you can outsource to your support team or an outsourced virtual assistant or personal assistant. Um, but there you go, submit a request, we've got it, we're going to look at it, we'll come back to it, fantastic. Now you can forget about that page. Um, so what I do is I'll make a note that that was the last one I added. And for my next 10, when I've done 10, I'll start here. Um, so just keep a Word document, put it as a, a reminder or whatever, but telling you where you've got up to, so that you don't keep requesting the same ones or going back over the work you've already done. Um, some In doing this, some pages are found where they've, they've got two or three paragraphs, not really any good content, I've deleted it. But if you do delete a page because you think there's really no need for that to be here anymore, make sure you or your website host sets up a redirect so that if this page is missing, it gets we've deleted it, it gets redirected to the home page or another similar page. Um, and that just saves you having 404 page errors on your, um, on your website, which isn't good for Google. So that's something that you definitely need to check. Are your pages indexed? If not, submit 10 a day, get them all indexed, and you should see a spike in your traffic.